my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains. And this is a trailer reaction for The Grudge. Yes, The Grudge 2020. This is a remake of a remake of a Japanese horror movie called Juan. And it's about a ghost, you know. And uh, the 2005 version, I think, had Sarah Michelle Gellar. Ooh, so can they up the game? Can they revamp this to be make it a little bit more scary for today's audiences? Who knows? Let me just quickly read the synopsis here. A house is cursed with a vengeful ghost that dooms those who enter it with a violent death. <laughs> yeah, a house is cursed by a vengeful ghost. So it's a ghost story. Yeah, yeah. I think we are all familiar with it if you are a horror movie buff. And if you're not, well, this could be an interesting take for your uh, first introduction to something based off of a, a Japanese horror. It's got Sam Raimi producing, and he's always good. I'm glad that he's uh, doing this. Uh, he's going to be directing something, too, coming up. And it has John Cho. Uh, well, okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, we'll talk more about the production after we take a look at the trailer. Uh, that's how I like to do things. So, with that being said, let's just take a look. Sam Raimi. Hello, it's Peter Spencer. I'm here about selling the house. Is anyone home? creepy. It's got a very washed out color palette. Very deliberate. <laughs> Did it get you? This is Detective Muldoon. This is Peter Spencer. Something happened to me at 44 Rayburn Drive. When someone dies in the grip of rage, Someone was murdered at that house. Why did he never go into that place? Something never felt right about it. Hmm. Uh, Looks like we got another one. Do you think that the body we found is related? Hmm. Hello? I went to the house. Hello? Police department. <laughs> <laughs> I think something like home. Mommy, what's going on? What's wrong? We need to leave right now. Oof. Ah. So the jump scares are there, guys. The famous scene. This is a famous scene. The Garage. Coming soon! Oh yeah? Well, how soon? What is the release date for this? Does it give me a release date? Let me just scroll down to the... Uh, January 3rd, 2020 is the release date for The Garage. Which will make it probably the first movie that I'll see that year. So, The Grudge, what was your main takeaway from this? Uh, did some of the jump scares get you? It, it actually kind of got me. So, uh, you know, yeah, this is a, a ghost story. And I think that through, they've done a fairly good job of it. Um, you know, a lot of this is based off of what we saw as some jump scares. But what really helps get you immersed into the world is... The color palette, which was something I noticed right off the bat. It helps you get, uh, you know, just kind of immersed in that vibe that everything's drab, everything is dreary. And then when you see the ghost doing the stuff, like crawling on the walls, <laughs> that's just cool. That's just, yeah, that's good. Okay, so as I said, let's just take a quick look online to see if there's anything more we can learn by pulling up the IMDB right here. Okay, The Grudge 2020, or it's rated R, so they're not going to pull back any punches. That's a good sign. Delect, directed by Nicholas Pesky. Pesky? 
Is that it? Popularity is going up. We'll take a look at his record in a moment after we take a look at the cast. Betty Gilpin is the cop, I'm guessing, there. Lynn Shea is in this. She's classic. You'll recognize her from The Conjuring and stuff like that. John Cho. Uh, William Sandler's in this? I didn't see him in the trailer. Hmm. Jackie Weaver. Okay. I like that. Um, something that really uh, kind of jumped out at me here uh, before I want to tell you uh, about the director, uh, Betty Gilpin. Um, she had a movie coming out this year that was pulled back, which is kind of a bummer. And she's from Glow. Um, uh, yeah, let me just pull up her page right here. And uh, she had The Hunt that got kind of postponed because of the violence, which is kind of a bummer. I did a trailer reaction to that. And if you are curious about that, uh, it looked like, um, you know, a man hunting man kind of story. And it looked actually kind of interesting. And I was really looking forward to seeing her work because uh, I'm being told that Glow is a real standout. So that she's... I'm guessing playing the detective in the uh, garage here. Let's go back. Just not giving me any names here for the cast, but yeah, she's, uh, she's good. And, um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of her because I think she can be a total breakout actress scrolling up to the uh, director here. Let's just take a quick look at his work just so we can know a little bit more as to what we're dealing with here. He's a young guy. Uh, 1990. So, uh, what does that make him? 29? Wow. Really young. And that's, that's good. Uh, I like that. Okay. So he did, uh, piercing and the eyes of my mother, which is, uh, looks like another kind of horror ghostly kind of movie there. So he's got a little bit of a pedigree within this, this genre. Um, and that's kind of cool. I think that uh, that's definitely an interesting step in the right direction. Let's just pull up what the eyes of my mother is. Yeah, it's a drama horror. Now, I never saw this, and it looks like it was shot in black and white, so he was going for a little bit more of a stylized uh, film. If you have seen this, let me know in the comments below, but let's just go back to the Grudges page and pull up that poster. I think the poster looks fairly good. I, li I like the trailer. I thought it did a fairly good job. A house is cursed by a vengeful ghost that dooms those who enter it with a violent death. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And that's it. YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right there. You can see my latest one just right up here. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.